if I write a book, an anti-Islam book, it had to be correct. So that it's it's not allowed. I, I wouldn't allow myself to make mistakes because uh, otherwise I would uh, get slaughtered in the media if the if the book was published and it were full of uh, uh, faults. So uh, what I did was starting to ask a lot of people with more knowledge on uh, certain topics than myself. And uh, one of the people I sent emails to and letters to was Abdul Hakim Murad. And I thought he would never answer me back. But uh, And it took a while, but after a few weeks, I got a very extensive email. Uh, I, th I thought it was uh, like like 17 pages or something. And he it was very, um, yeah, very open, very polite. He said, well, I understand where you're coming from, but your uh, vision uh, or your view when it comes to Islam is very uh, is distorted. And uh, what we have to do is see what kind of books did you read? How, why do you think uh, the way you think now. And so I, I gave him a whole list of books and people who influenced me. And, and he said, well, interesting. I know those people. I know their books, but they're not correct. And, I, and he, he told me, well, maybe you can read this book and that book and talk to that person and write that person. So and I, that's what I did. And I started researching and rereading all my books uh, uh, over and over again. And that's what I did with his information. And in the end, uh, yeah, his, his case was uh, much stronger than my own case. So I had to um, yeah, uh, start uh, rethinking my, my own uh, views when it comes to, to Islam. So he helped me uh, in, in, uh, yeah, in a very... Yeah, he helped me uh, when it comes to becoming a Muslim in a, in a great way. 